Good morning, everyone. My name is Chen Liu. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Statistics and Bioinformatics in Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. Uh, today, I want to thank the conference organizers to give me this opportunity to present my work using R to build, read, write, and execute CWL workflows using our two bioconductor packages, RCWL and RCWL pipelines. A typical data analytics flow includes four steps. When we talk about data analysis, it surely includes uh, two major parts, the pre-processing step where we clean and uh, curate the data sets and the modeling part where we do the statistical data analysis. In the realm of um, biomedical science, for example, when we have a uh, whole genome sequencing data, we need to do some quality check, mapping the sequence to the reference genome and do some variant calling. These are usually based on the command line tools such as FASTQC, BWA, and GATK. And after we have a subset of candidate variants, we need to do some variant field, uh, annotation to annotate uh, with the gene and functions and do some variant filtering to remove those common variants, for example, from dbSNP and only retain those that are specific to your study. This is usually done using the interactive uh, programming language such as R or Python. Workflow languages combine different bioinformatics tools to accomplish a specific data analysis task and solve the reproducibility issues from different sources. Um, people, for example, people work on diverse computing environments and uh, the complex software dependencies can easily cause software installation conflicts, especially in the pre-processing steps where multiple command line tools will be involved. There are several workflow languages available and today we'll be focusing on the common workflow language. So with all the benefits of using workflow languages, uh, there are some intrinsic challenges also. First of all, the workflow language is um, command line tool itself. So it brings a steep learning curve for the common researchers, especially, and not especially, uh, even for the experienced data analyst. And also the workflow language mainly takes care of the command line tools that are involved in the pre-processing steps. It has a pre-integration with the downstream statistical analysis tools uh, implemented in R or Bioconductor, which could um, produce reproducibility issues in the modeling part. And in addition, uh, the currently available workflow scripts are more customized to a specific data analysis. However, there are many overlapping steps between different data analysis tasks. If the workflows can be more modularized, it will be easier to be shared and reused. So to address these challenges in using workflow language and to connect the pre-processing steps and the modeling steps, we have developed two bioconductor packages, RCWL and RCWL pipelines to represent an R bioconductor tool chain for reproducible bioinformatics pipelines. First, we build a robust and scalable R bioconductor interface for a common workflow language. And then based on that, we have uh, developed the RCWL pipelines as a catalog of commonly used and emerging bioinformatics tools into uh, reproducible CWL pipelines. Now we have close to 200 pre-built tools and pipelines, and this figure shows the usage of these tool packages. Uh, first of all, we would suggest users to start with the RSW pipelines, where they can search a specific tool or pipeline uh, in our catalog. Using the CWL search, you can use multiple keywords to do the search, and then when you have your um, tools you can just load them into the R environment directly. One can also develop their own set of tools and pipelines and contribute to the RSWL pipelines to share with the broader community. And then the whole data analysis task, including the proof processing steps and the modeling step are, can be easily submitted as a CWL task through R using the execution functions, such as run CWL, 
run stable batch to submit them in parallel and stable shiny using our shiny application. Here I will show you how to develop um, the RCWL tools and pipelines. First of all, uh, the tools here we are using the Star Solo as an example. It will be used uh, inside the single cell and sequencing proof processing steps for the read alignment. First of all, we need to define the inputs and outputs for this specific tool. And then we need to define this command line tool or an R package uh, function as a CWL process object in R. So it is ready to be used as a CWL tool. For a pipeline here, we are using a simplified single cell RNA sequencing data pre-processing pipeline where we use the star solo for the read alignments and the droplet UTUs for um, filtering the empty droplets. The star solo is a command line tool and the droplet UTUs is a downstream R, uh, R package for doing the statistical um, analysis. First of all, we need to define the inputs and outputs for the whole workflow. And then we need to define each of the tool involved as a workflow step. So it is a CWL step object in R. And then we will be having this CWL workflow in R uh, represented as a CWL workflow object within R. This table shows the, some basic and advanced functions to build our CWL tools and our CWL pipelines. Here we use some pseudocode to show you how to do this programmatically. First of all, the first step is to build the tool. For Star Solo, uh, we need to use the input parameters to define the inputs and the output parameters to define outputs. And we specify the Docker image uh, as needed for the star tool. And we specify, uh, we define the base command for the tool and then construct the CW process uh, and give it a name as star solo, which is ready to be used as CWL tool in R. The second step for building the pipeline, first of all, we need to define the input parameters, output parameters, and we define the workflow where two tools will be involved as a CWL step, then we can just simply add the tools together into a pipeline. The third step is to submit uh, the CWL work. Uh, first, we need to assign values for the input uh, parameters, and then we can submit the job using our execution functions, such as the run CWL and also the run CWL batch, where we can submit the job parallelly using the high performance computing uh, with different job schedulers, such as SGE and SLURM. As I've just mentioned, we have this set of pre-built RCWL tools and pipelines. So we would suggest users to uh, search the specific tool or pipeline first, uh, which is ready to be used. Here we use an example for the one-time reference genome indexing using the command line tool star. The first step is to update, search, and load the tool pipeline. And the second step is to assign values for each of the defined parameters. And the third step is to submit the job and uh, execute the tools and pipelines as a CWL pipeline. We want to note that we have this Chinese application available where people can just click the button to uh, uh, put in the value for the parameters and uh, click the run button to submit the job. And then the output files will be um, listed over here. So this is very user-friendly, which requires no software installation and requires like, very less programming skills. We have explored the cloud application of our workflow, uh, of our tools, uh, notably in the Cancer Genomics Cloud uh, funded by NCI. So we have developed this CGC client as a hub tool to build a bridge between the RSWL and RSWL pipelines and the CGC Cloud computing platforms. We have been successfully analyzed uh, many of the high uh, throughput sequencing data using our tool on the CGC Cloud. Anvil is um, 
Google cloud-based computing um, platform supported by NHGRI. Um, Bioconductor is part of the grant exploring the R functions and the reproducible workflows in analyzing genomic data on the cloud. We have successfully tested our tools using the Jupyter notebook that is available on the Envio platform. So I also want to uh, highlight a website, rcwl.org, uh, which works as a central hub for all the project related materials and uh, uh, supplementary um, documentations. Uh, here you can find a user guide, uh, some case studies, a tutorial ebook, and some supplementary materials. On the website, we can find a single cell ASIC pre processing case study where we uh, used a real single cell sequencing data from 10x genomics and did three pre processing steps the reference genome indexing, the read alignment, and the count filtering using our package of uh, droplet YouTubes. We also, uh, you can also find the link to this tutorial ebook where uh, all the user instructions are included for how to use and develop RSWL tools and pipelines with many real examples. So all the source code and test data sets are uh, located on the GitHub organization called Workflow Languages in R. And we also use this um, GitHub organization to maintain the websites, the ebook, and we welcome all kinds of community contribution. So that's it for my uh, talk today. I'm happy to take any questions. Here are the contact information. Uh, one is the support set of Bioconductor and the community Slack channel of Bioconductor with the subchannel of RCWL and uh, the GitHub link and my email. Thank you very much for joining.